How's it going, guys? This is Linux215. Um, yeah, in response to your guys' comments and questions before on how to make a grow room like uh, my designated one, but on the cheap and not so expensive. Well, this one will show you how to make one pretty damn cheap. I made this whole room that you're getting ready to see pretty much. Uh, I made it for under $15 because I had some of the materials laying around already, but all together it would be probably around 30 Well, first off, as you can see, I got just normal black paper that uh, I bought a 10 by 25 foot roll of it at Walmart. You can get it at your hardware stores or any of your other local stores. And um, it's like three millimeters thick, something like that. Um, it keeps the light out perfect. So you, you growers know that keeping uh, no light in, no light out is one of the key factors. As you can tell, I have uh, reflective stuff up on here. I didn't go with nothing fancy this time. I decided just to go with good old fashioned aluminum foil. Like a lot of people say you can't do that, it doesn't work, it's not that good. It's full of shit. It does work, it is great. Especially if you're doing it cheap. It's just normal aluminum foil. It's not, it's not heavy duty stuff. Um, this is, I think it was a 200 uh, square foot roll. So you can do 200 square foot room with it. Um, as you can tell, I still have plenty left. And I did uh, a nine by nine foot room uh, all the way around. Um, always use the dull side facing out. Don't use the shiny side. And um, when I when I tacked it up, it and the walls. I just used an all-in-one staple gun. Works great. I think I use quarter inch uh, staples. Um, and it works great for when you put up these walls. Um, put up these walls. Line the edges where you're going to staple it at with duct tape, either on both sides, like fold it over and crease it over, and uh, or just put it on one side and tack it up. So that way it keeps it nice and strong. And this stuff is kind of thin, so if you don't do that, it will rip down pretty easily. Like you can see right now, I'm pulling it pretty much hard, and it didn't even budge. So um, as you can tell, I'm going with uh, I'm going to be growing in here uh, the hog things that you see on these next videos. So I have one of my uh, 600 watt lights in here. Um, you can go ahead and use any kind of lights you want. I'm For the veg stage, just to get them going a little bit, I'm using these good old fashioned long shop lights. These are cheap. I bought this ballast for four or five bucks at Walmart. Um, you can buy all kinds of different sizes of lights and brands of lights. I got all, I try all kinds of different variations from the different shop lights. You can tell I have the little ones, the big ones, the actual ones that are supposed to be for growing. I noticed the ones for growing aren't really that good. Um, not compared to the cheap, uh, I think it was flat white ones. They worked great. Um, so don't worry about paying the extra 15, 20 bucks for them grow ones because they're just not that worth it. Just get the basic normal ones for your veg stage. And if you really have to and you're desperate, you can grow with these on your flower stage too. Um, it won't be as good as smoke and it will take a little bit longer, but you can do it. Um, you can use normal house lights, the ones that uh, are coming in right here. Um, you, the 150 watt light ones on the little aluminum hoods you can buy for a few bucks at Walmart too. You can use a few of them. They work great. Um, like I said, you won't have as much smoke and as great smoke, but you can still grow decent weed for yourself. Um, this, like I'm saying, the setup I'm kind of showing you isn't for trying to make a lot of money. This is for personal use and just growing some smoke to smoke. Well. Um, I'm growing this for fun, and I'm doing a little experiment for this one. Uh, as I showed last night with my hog seeds um, that I got from the Cannabis Club, I'm going to be doing uh, SOG status where I'm going to be growing just lines of them right here on the ground. I'm going to keep them small. I'm going to get a little bit of net put around here, keep them nice and so they can't go up. You guys, if you follow, you'll see that whole process from um, the last one was germination, so you already seen the pretty much the birth of them. And hopefully you guys will see all the way to harvest. It's going to be a great harvest. I hope you guys stay tuned. But um, this room is pretty easy to build. As you can tell, I just tacked it up to the ceiling along a 2x4. This is just out in the garage. You can do it anywhere. You can do it in your house, your car garage. You can just do it anywhere. This is just a little shop garage we have. For ventilation, you're going to want good ventilation. But say you just had something like this, a little house fan. You could use that if you wanted to. That's no problem. Um, if you see right there in the yellow box, there's a blower fan. Those are the ones I like using. They, they work great. Um, but I haven't got an exhaust system hooked up in here yet. I was probably going to have one hooked up here in the corner or something by the light because this is a pretty hot light. 
But um, the hood's so big because it's a thousand watt hood I got from my other thousand watt bulb. I just have it in a, a 600 watt bulb in it. The 600 watt ballast uh, right here. Uh, 1000 watt ballast, 600 watt converter thing. Um, all the other, the light setup thing costs around four or five hundred bucks for the whole thing. Um, but like I said, you can grow on any lights you really want. Um, I'm gonna turn the light on and show you guys how much just the foil help reflect. Just to show you guys that you guys don't have to use that expensive stuff. Like ever said, you have to use expensive reflectors. You do not. That's just people want you to spend money. You don't have to. And um, when you're putting this up, make sure you use. I think it's like half inch uh, ducting tape or clear scotch looking tape and as you can tell it's really starting to reflect. Um, I didn't do all the way down to the very bottom floor so like I said earlier I'm going to have a couple pieces of wood up and I didn't want it to tear or nothing. Um, this isn't a flat wall so that's why I put the tape there. It's a flat wall you only got to put the tape unless it's making a lot of noise in the wind. Um, these hoods are great if you can find one like this or try to afford one. That's the only one thing I will say try not to slack on is your lighting. The, the better the lighting, the better your crop. But um, in here, this is a 9 foot nine, 9 by 9 foot room. Um, I'm hoping to fit quite a few little plants in here, as you guys will be able to tell later on. Um, anywhere from 30 to 35, maybe enough to 50. I'm germinating 75 seeds because I've got to sex them and all that stuff. So I wanted to take the time and show you guys how to sex your plants and everything. Because it's going to be a step by step growing guide. Um, I talked to the dispensary this time, they let me take a camera and show you guys how to trim. As I told you guys before, I work for a cannabis dispensary and a co-op where I grow weed, trim it, and we sell it to the co-op uh, co so they can sell it to patients. Well, they allowed me to bring a camera in this time to show you guys some pointers on trimming, and I'm really excited about that because you guys will be able to see just the basics of it, how easy it really is to do, and um, especially on a large scale. But um, Hopefully at that time I'll be able to take you guys out to the yards and show you guys the crops and a little bit on outdoor growing. For my last videos I showed you guys a lot on the outdoor growing and I want to take the time to show you guys some little bit of indoor growing. This is a cheap little room you can make for everything you need under 50 bucks. That's including soil and everything that you'll need over the whole span. And as you tell the lights really starting to warm up, it takes a few minutes to warm up so it's starting to put lines in the camera. I apologize for that. I'm going to go ahead and shut the light off. I just want to show you how reflective this stuff gets. As you can tell, it's really starting to get bright in here. And that helps with, and this is going to help with all lighting. So if you don't have that good of light, you're going to tell the difference on this little, this foil. And like I said, make sure you put the dual side out. And I hope you guys stay tuned and, um, Watch these plants. I'm going to grow from uh, seed to harvest, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment and ask. And um, if you guys, for the people that were watching my other ones and want to know on what ductings and lights and stuff I use, I'm making a guide and a little list, pretty much a shopping list of what I'm using and everything. And um, that will help you guys reference. I'm also making one on the basics, the easy. This is perfect for a novice, beginner, and just someone who doesn't have all that money to spend. And like me, I don't have, I'm not rich, so I like just having basic little setups that everybody can do. Because that's, I don't do it to make money, I do it for a hobby, it's fun, I like smoking cannabis. I'm a cannabis patient here in California, If you guys voted on uh, Prop 215, thank you. You guys are great. And um, keep voting, because hopefully we'll have this shit legal around the world. Um, we get these nice little mar medical marijuana cards, it says doctor's orders, ca uh, medicinal cannabis. And um, we get you have to renew these every year. Um, they're a great little thing to have. Um, if you guys live in California, you guys need some doctors or some dispensary addresses, let me know. I will let you know. My doctor, who is great, he works with you. If you don't, I'm not gonna. I'll just say he works with you and he'll help you get your card if you need it. And um, pretty much that's about it. I hope you guys stay tuned. And um, I'm gonna have one later on the checkup on the germination, and then um, here in a few days the transplanting and everything. So stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I might take a wall or two down, maybe take a section of this paper down, if you guys request, to show you how simple it is and how easy it is to do. I did this in a couple hours being bored. Uh, I didn't have nothing to do and realize me and my buddy were talking on uh, experimenting with some new strains and taking some of my outdoor stuff from last year and trying it indoors. So that's what this is about. So I hope you guys stay tuned, and I hope you guys will really enjoy the smoke. And um, 
Thank you guys for watching.